Hi, how do you create a cotton wall mullion whose shapes look something like this? Today is episode 33 of Revit Beginner Program and we are going to talk about how to customize the shape of a cotton wall mullion. Let's begin. When you select any of your cotton wall mullion and go to its type properties, you'll see that cro the cross section, the shape of your mullion is governed by the profile family. In this case, the shape of my cotton wall mullion is governed by the system mullion profile rectangular family. Now, if you want to change the shape of your mullion, you'll have to create a new family, which is the profile family. To do this, I'll go into file, new, family. Now, I'm going to choose a profile family that is specific to a mullion. If you don't have this template, you can also choose this family and change its category to mullions. I'm going to open that up. And when you do this, you have a few notes here. You must always read these notes before using any of the templates in your family library. So here we know that this is exterior side, this is the interior side. So this is how you can create the shape of your profile. This is going to be the center of the mullion and this is the center plane. So the intersection of these two planes is going to be the center of your mullion. The curtain panels are trimmed to where the profile sketch intersects the center front back reference plane. So this is the plane which is going to intersect with your curtain panel and your curtain panels are going to be trimmed to that. Let's start by creating the profile using the line tool. Let's say I want to create a profile that's about 260 millimeters in its thickness and 60 millimeters in its width. I'll start by creating around 30 millimeters from the center and up to 200 millimeters in its thickness. Let's say this is 15, this is 20, this is again 20. You can of course always come back here and make changes to wherever you want. Let's say if, if this is too small, I can come back here and make it 60 and make this one about 25 and align this one with that. So you can come back and always edit your sketch. Now one tip that I would like to give you here is that in this particular type of profile sections, your cotton panel is going to come here in aligned with your reference plane here. The center of your curtain wall panel is going to be this line. So instead of aligning your profile at the edge here, I like to align my profile to the center of where my curtain panel is going to come and attach to my mullion. All looks good. Let's save this family. Curtain wall mullion 60 by 260. I'm going to save it and load it into my project. Now we have loaded a profile family into a project. If we use this profile into a mullion, we need to create a new mullion type. So I'll go into the rectangular mullion, choose any existing type, duplicate this, call it 60 by 260 millimeters. Right click on it, go to the type properties and change the profile from system mullion profile rectangular to the curtain wall mullion 60 by 260, the one that we loaded. I'm going to say OK to this. As soon as you do this, you realize that all these parameters that are available from the earlier family is deactivated because they no longer is valid for a new family. I'm going to say OK to this. And now if I select one of these curtain wall mullions, unpin it, I have the opportunity to change this into 60 by 260 see that it looks a little bit odd here. That is because our curtain panels are at an offset from the curtain wall alignment. Here you see that our curtain wall is exactly matching with the center of our profile. The curtain panels have been offset. So if I select my curtain panel, I'll see that it has an offset of about 37 millimeters from the alignment of your curtain wall. Now there are two options. Either you bring the curtain wall at zero offset or add 37 millimeters offset to your curtain wall. Let's try both of these approach. If I go into the type properties of my curtain panel, make it zero offset, you'll see that it fits perfectly. I'm going to undo this. Select my curtain wall mullion, go to the type properties and add 37 millimeters offset to the curtain wall mullions now. 
you'll see now Malin has moved to the panel. So whichever way you like to move, either you can move the curtain panel or you can move the curtain mall Malin. Now you'll see it fits perfectly. Now in this particular case, we selected one Malian and changed that into the custom Malian that we created. But if you want to apply this custom profile to all the Malians in your curtain wall, we can go back to the type properties of our wall and choose interior and border type Malians to the one that we just created. So let's go here and change that to 60 by 260. I'm going to copy this and paste it everywhere on the border as well as from the interior for horizontal and vertical mullions. I'm going to say OK to this. Now you'll see how all the mullions have changed to the custom profile that we created. To customize the shape of a mullion, we need to create a new profile family. Now profile families are interesting families. They can be used for many other purposes. In the next episode, we are going to take a deeper dive into the profile family and learn where all can we use it and how to customize it. So please make sure that you subscribe, stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next.